Hey YouTube, Savage Attic. I've been wanting to do a video for a while now. My thoughts and opinions on gear mesh. As you can see, this is an old white plastic spur gear for the MGT 4.6. And then here's the metal center diff gear. And then here's a stock 47 tooth HPI Savage spur gear, just plastic. Now here's some people on YouTube. This one guy in particular, I don't know, he says his IQ is like off the charts. I'm not smart enough to argue with whether or not he, it is or not. But all I can say is that here's some of the advice that he gives people. And... <clears throat> You do not have to have a steel spur gear when you run a big block nitro motor. I repeat, you do not have to have a steel spur gear if you are running a big block nitro motor. Now, I'd say for at least 10, 12... I don't know, I run a lot of nitro, maybe 15 gallons, I have not stripped a spur gear. This one here is a, <clears throat> a demonstration of, in my opinion, something that is too loose, but I can't get it any tighter because of the, because of the gear ratio that I'm running. It's a 17 on the bell and a 47 on the spur, but this is what you're looking for. See if I can get it to focus. I mean, even for me, that's too much play. And I haven't, haven't messed with this mesh in a while. I set this, I don't know, well before I started doing all the snow runs. Uh, basically, when we first got the truck, my son hit the curb. The motor, I guess the screws were a little loose. Motor slid forward, making this real tight, and it ripped out a few gears. So we ended up getting a new spur gear. I've put it on, and I have not touched it since. And I've ran a few gallons through it at least. I've ran quite a bit of fuel through this truck, whether it's been on camera or off. And even this one, to me, is a little loose. But like I said, I've put a lot of uh, I've put a lot of fuel through this truck without you know without messing up that spur gear. And one thing that one thing that I go by when I'm when I'm setting the mesh is a little a little too tight is better than too loose. Let's see. I know you can hear that ticking. And this is probably about as tight as you want to get it. And this one... That's about where I like to set my mesh. And you can't really see the teeth, but you can see how little it moves. Compared to that. Man, they don't set these up well for doing camera shots. Okay, one more time on this. Again, this is to me a little loose. Might actually rip those out because of how loose it is. Three different examples of, of how my gear mesh is set. 
Just don't let anybody tell you that because you run in a big block or something with a lot of power that you have to put a steel spur gear on there. I don't care how smart they say they are. Um, trust me, from experience, you don't have to. You can if you want, but you don't have to. So for anybody new or just somebody that's been in it for a while trying to just still trying to figure out gear mesh, I hope this helped. I don't even use the paper. I just slide it in place, tighten down the screw, give it a little rock back and forth, and I just adjust it until I hear as little ticking as possible all the way around the gear. Sometimes some of it's a little loose, so others aren't too... Sometimes on one side it may be a little loose so that the other side of the spur gear isn't too tight because they don't always make them completely round. So, again... I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, feel free. Thanks for watching.